Lisa. I want to do the scrapbook page showing um, some of our out or talking about some of the outings that we're making with my mother. It's just the three of us now, uh, very often going out. And um, I had these pictures from one specific outing that we went to in Hendersonville, North Carolina in the late summer. And the dahlias were in bloom in this little garden. These just happen to be good pictures of us. There have been outings we've made where I've taken mother places or my husband's taken her places or we've all three gone together that I don't have any pictures at all of. But I just thought this would be a good one to talk about kind of doing those kind of outings and um, showcase some pretty good photos. The uh, We went uh, to see the gardens and then we went into Hendersonville and puttered around town and that kind of thing. But I mostly have photographs from the gardens and I have pictures of all of these dahlias and they were so beautiful. So what I thought I would do with them is I would put the two pictures on the page and I would use these for embellishments. So what I'm going to do is to punch out uh, one of these and then use my scallop punch as the background for creating the embellishments. So let's take one to show you. This is a one and a half inch circle punch, and that's what I planned for when I when I did them. Okay. So, and then, well, I don't have I don't have the right kind of paper, but we'll use this one, this burgundy. It's not the color I'm going to use, but that's what we would have then for an embellishment. And I I went ahead and did five. I had five good pictures, so that worked out really well to have an odd number going probably across the bottom, or it could come down the side. I think with these two photos, it'll look better going across the bottom uh, for my embellishments. And I'll add some other things, but then I can use some of the photographs as part of the embellishment. Now, in selecting the paper. I've looked at a couple of collections. The first one I got out was this one. This is Fresh Cut from Basic Gray. It's kind of a flower themed thing. What I liked about it were these stickers. Some good stickers here. Perfect day. Lovely. And this is all plant oriented, so it really goes with the um, the theme of this page. And then there's some letter stickers and stuff. The colors, though, aren't quite the best. I do have a solid piece of green paper here. It's not bad with them. It kind of blends, um, and, it would, and it's a possibility, but it's not probably the best shade. So then I went and looked for a few other things. I mean, we're, you know, my mom's wearing this uh, turquoise color that is so popular in scrapbooking, or at least it was back when I acquired most of my supplies. So I know I have things. Um, this collection, I've used on pages with her before, and it also has some floral things. Uh, to it and I have a bunch of wood veneers that I could work with here and this is from my mind's eye and here's a paper I don't have a full sheet of it it is a good match also color wise but you know I think that the amount of white in this kind of competes it's like we're we're trying to compete with that uh, top that she's wearing so I'm not sure I like that so much after all um, and then the colors in here if there's anything else. I've got more than just that one collection in this box. I've kind of doubled up. No, you know, I think I'm going to stick with my original choice. There's some there's some good stuff in this one, um, and I might pull out some of those wood veneers, but I think I'm going to stick with my original choice and just go ahead and use this green paper. Um, I don't know if I'll use any of this. I might use this as borders. Were there any, there's some border stickers have mostly been used from this collection. I have this one and I have this green, the little flower, that's a pretty border sticker. So let's see what we can work with in taking this as the background. Um, the back side of this is a very busy floral paper, uh, really pretty paper, but not quite what I want to use here. I don't want to have flowers in the background and flower embellishments. So we'll do that for the background of this and then I'll kind of build my page around that. And I think my title will have something to do with, you know, the three of us on our outings. So let me see what I can work with um, from this amount of material. So I'll go ahead and start by punching out all of the flowers with the half inch circle punch. And then they'll need cardstock backgrounds. So I'll go ahead and get the rest of uh, the pieces here and then I can pick the cardstock that will match the paper. 
thinking about using some of these uh, stickers as so they're really appropriate to the theme of the page. I started to use one that um, I can't quite see it on the screen at the moment, something like perfect day. It wasn't quite a perfect day. There were some issues with this day, and I want to highlight the positives, um, but it, there were a few little challenges in our plans for that particular day, so I think I'll stay away from that one. Um, it was a nice day, though, to get out. My mother really enjoyed um, the town we were in, in and um, we got to go to an art gallery where she found some prints uh, for a room she'd remodeled, some inexpensive prints that were just perfect. And so, so there were some things that were really, really, really not nice about it. Now, there are a couple of pieces of wood veneer that I'd like to use. The one with the flower, I'm not sure if I can work that in with the flowers I have, but we'll see. I'm going to take that striped paper and create some strips, and I've got another green paper that I can use to do a border on the background. I selected several pieces of cardstock that happen to match the pictures and the uh, paper that I've got here. Just all stamping up colors. I think, I think there may be one that's paper tray ink. That green one, I believe, is a, an old paper tray ink color. Yeah, it's really hard to punch. Their paper's a little bit thicker. Uh, but those are going to be my um, scallop circles for the flowers. We'll glue all that together and put everything down there on the bottom of the page. I usually start in the middle with um, embellishments like this, then do the outside ends, and then do the second and fourth ones. And that's the best, that's the easiest way to do the spacing without measuring anything. And I'll slip my photos in. I can actually trim a little bit off the top of one of those because because it's just sort of wasted area there. And I have one under the border and one over the border so I don't cover all of that border. Uh, makes it a little bit more interesting too. And a couple more stickers. I'm still trying to figure out the wood veneer piece. It doesn't end up working out. The, also the letter stickers that came with this were more boxy kind of letter stickers and I felt like I needed uh, regular stickers or thickers to do the um, text. So I've pulled out a some from my um, stash and I was going to do outing in red and then the rest in the green and I, in the end I thought it looked better to just do all the letters out of the same um, font and color which I happen to have enough. So I have outing for three and then in my journaling I can talk about just not just this particular day but in general going out together. You know, we try to do things that we will all enjoy, and especially my mom, so she can have some um, some trips. My dad really loved to travel, and so now, you know, we're, we're the ones taking her, so we want to be sure she gets lots of fun things to do. I feel like I need something in that upper left corner. It's kind of bare there, so I've... I just pulled out a little bit of scrap paper and another uh, sticker that came from a different collection. And that'll sort of wrap up the page, maybe with an extra brad. And um, then I'll show you and try to give you some close-ups here of how this all came together. These brads were from a different collection, but they um, work out well for it in the right colors. So the main thing that the page really does, uh, besides the two photos, is to utilize the photographs that I took of the dahlias as embellishments by just resizing them to a small size, printing them out, and then punching them out with a punch. So we get to enjoy those flowers as part of our page without them really taking away from the story, but instead enhancing the story. So we get some close-ups here of the page. And we got to use lots of our designer paper in clever ways also. So thank you so much for watching today. I hope you enjoyed this uh, layout with two photos, a little bit of journaling, and some photo embellishments. Thanks again.